Okay, here's a here's a short video of uh, of the engine as it now sits. My uh, Modsley uh, oscillating engine. Uh, I got it hooked up to the air. You can probably hear barely hear my. Uh, this is my little uh, rear air compressor down here. It's pretty quiet. Obviously, the CFM is pretty low, but it serves my purposes. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can fire this up and uh, watch it run. Well, there it is at a pretty slow tick. Unfortunately, I've got a little bit of a flywheel wobble that I need to work out of it. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. It uh, runs real smooth and uh, turns over on a minimum amount of air pressure. Uh, like most rotary valves, it probably has a little bit of a leak to it. But it's, it's not too annoying. Let's see if I can turn it around here. Get a view from the back. Speed it up a little bit. Big flywheel, it's uh, all that metal in motion, it gets a little wobbly at uh, higher speeds, so I kind of prefer to run it pretty slow. Here you can see the, uh, the valve operating the cam. Uh, the air comes in through this shaft into the cylinder block and then there's a, a valve in there as you can see here the valve has a couple of slots the valve on or the slot on your right is the inlet slot and the one on the left is the exhaust slot now what's not on this other valve are the milled slots that go from the inlet uh, groove uh, an axial slot that runs to the center of that middle piece which directs the air to the uh, to the cylinder top and bottom and also exhausts two other slots that do the exhaust but uh, I'll probably have to do some pictures and explanation on that valve exactly how it works but it seems to be uh, plenty of motion and uh, plenty of good airflow even though the air passages in there are only three thirty seconds of an inch for the most part seems to be adequate it's about as slow as I can get it to tick over and keep running the exhaust by the way comes out this uh, if you can see it, this uh, port, the, the uh, pivot shaft on the other side, right below the flywheel. So you could plumb the exhaust on this if you uh, if you wanted to. There you can kind of get a sense of the sound coming out of the exhaust. That's it.